How many people, when they wake up, takes like an hour and a half to decide how that day's gonna go, I guess? I normally take about five minutes. I'm like, is today gonna be shitty or is today gonna be good? And then something shitty will happen. And then you're like, well, I guess I know what kind of day it's gonna be today. Mitch, did you take a look at the NES World Championship? No. You're gonna min-max it till somebody f***ing hacks Nintendo World Championship leaderboards. And then all your hard work is gone. It's true! It's true! The cycles, dude. It's not my fault. It's the cycles. You gotta believe me. Sorry, I haven't had my morning coffee. Is that a thing? Am I allowed to say that? Like, what if you murdered someone and you're getting arrested by the police and you're like, sorry, I haven't had my morning coffee? Like, will they let you go? Because, like, people use that excuse for everything. Assorted meats? Like a, like a tapas platter? Oh. Guys, my NES just shorted. Who was it? Who did this? I didn't do it. Really? You think I did it? What's going on with the graphics? Dude, I think there's like some weird electrical or like signal that gets like interrupted. I don't know. Because it happens to my CRT as well. It's not just the capture card. I'm not hacking anything. Ah, why did I go? I'm so sick and tired of chat judging me. Guys, I have just had enough of the chat. I figured I'd shave today to emulate my hero, Mitch Flower Power. What exactly do I do that makes me a hero in your eyes? I am emotionally and mentally abused by chat all day and I handle it. And that's inspiring, right? I mean, be bald. I'm not bald, you idiots. I'm glad that I can be entertaining for you guys because once upon a time, I was just a Mario 3 player to people. Do you guys know how many of my Twitch users I don't see anymore in chat because I'm not playing Mario 3? But those Twitch users were there for years when I was doing Mario 3. And then all of a sudden, the moment I'm not doing Mario 3, not interested. They just wanted me for my body. We all like Wendy's. Why do you have to go and bring Wendy's into this? Why you gotta bring Wendy's into this all the time. Aren't you guys happy you saw me eat Wendy's? Like, is that, was that not enough? What did Wendy ever do to you? First of all, it's not a person. Being rude to all the people called Wendy, I'm not rude to anyone. You guys are rude to me first. Oh boy. Mario lost levels. Here we go. Don't worry, we got this. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. We got this. Oh my god, I almost just died. You put 10k on believing? I literally almost just died, though. Look at the Twitch display here. Right here. Poor Mario. He looks Canadian. Like South Park Canadian Mario. There it is. This game actually looks hard. It is! I'm trying to tell everyone this game's hard. Nobody wants to believe me. They all think they're so good. Like, look at that sh**. The fish and then the bloop. Look at this! If I wasn't as good as I was, somebody else would have died there. Of course. Of fucking course. Die! He's jumping all over the place! Die, would you? Move your ass. Let's go. Wow, Mitch, you're on fire today? No. I'm doing what I normally do. Just watch. Twitch chat will not let me... <sighs> See? See what I mean? Don't build me up. What an asshole, man. F yeah, good. The bullets are fucking right on me, man. That would have been fine if the bullets were not wait like, oh man. Come on, man. And then it goes instantly. What a f***ing surprise. Worst dungeon, man. That is by far the hardest fortress. God, man, if I went down there, I would have died. I had to go around. Oh, boy. He's cooking. Yep, here's the cheapest part of the game. Yep. Like... 
What do you want? Look at that triple, dude. You gotta wait for the three fires and then go, I swear to god. World 7 should be okay. Uh, was my fireballs bouncing there? Am I crazy or did my fireballs just bounce in the underground part? Hey. Okay. Lakitu, man. God damn it. And what is so funny? That was so close. Okay, I'm gonna use that ledge now. That's actually way better. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out, okay. That was like one of the last hurdles we had to get. Shh. Who did that? Oh, Stu, you are so done. I dare you. I dare you to talk in this channel again. Okay, watch. We spawn this boy and then we go back. Look at this. You I want. You could just run off too, nice. Yep. Okay, that's good. Okay, this is why I won't be mad. This is why everything's okay. That was a good run. <laughs> yep, start packing your bags. Who's this? I accidentally clicked on this guy's name. Palantiris, you're gone. You got AOE'd, bro. You were in the line of fire. You only got 30 seconds, though. You're good. You just finished running half a marathon. Dude, I've never run a marathon. I would do like a stairmaster a thon. Yeah, Canadian chocolate is so much better than American chocolate. Pretty sure it comes from a better place. And I think Canada has a one different law about chocolate or something. I don't know why. Different restrictions or something, but chocolate in Canada is way fucking better. And those of you who live in the States and have never had Canadian chocolate, you are missing out. Everyone's gonna say no. I've lived in both countries, guys. I'm telling you right now. But if you guys are really interested in my take on this, then I would highly recommend you go on Amazon. Uh, well, I can safely say that that's never happened to me before, so that's good. That's what I get for speaking ill of Americans chocolate. Okay, that also has never happened before. That's not my fault. That also is another never happened before. I'm glad I'm getting hit with things that have never happened because it adds to the like, watch out for this so you don't get hit stuff. Woo! Oh, you f Bowser. Whoa, he almost stepped on me. Did you guys see that? Come on, man. The fireballs missed him, and then... God damn it! Lucky for you guys, I'm not actually mad. Bullshit. I've already done this without getting hit. I just wasn't recording. I mean, I don't want really... I don't really want to take time off. Okay, that's happened two times now. I need to stop doing that. I know exactly what I'm doing wrong there. Shut up, chat. Shut up, chat. Shut up, chat. Don't keck W me. How many people here grew up in a home where it's like, go set the table? I did. Yeah, I had to set the table every night. One of the kids would like do the dishes or the dishwasher, like set it. One of them would like take out the recycling. One of them would set the table, stuff like that. We all had our own little individual chores. Guys, should I do a stream where I try and learn the flagpole glitch from scratch and I don't stop the stream until I do it once? I've never tried, nor have I done it before. I don't even know how it works. To try and beat lost levels without getting hit. Oh, you're right. I should stick with the first challenge I've created for myself. You guys are right. Sorry. I'm biting off more than I can chew. You're right. You're a bit drunk. Okay, now that you're drunk, go to the bottom. There's a purple button that says gift sub. Click that and type 100. And, um, yeah. Uh, where do you want me to go? Jesus! This game is ass! Do you know what the oldest major soda in America is? I got a major American soda for you. Hold on a sec. Oh my god, I actually survived though? Mitch, you are the best person I know. You make my day and everyone else. 
I'm worried to read the whole entirety of that message. Can somebody TTS me that message? Mitch, you are the best person I know. You make my day and everyone else's. I hope you know that I appreciate that you put your time out for us. Love you, Mitch. Keep being awesome. Have a great rest of your day. Wait, that was positive. Why was that message so nice? Mitch, you are the Why are you guys copying? My day and everyone else's. I hope you know oh my nice god, guys. That was a nice, wholesome message. You guys are ruining it. Well, to whoever said that authentically, the first person, because I have no idea who it was now. Thank you for that. That was very kind. Sorry for my chat ruining it like a bunch of five-year-olds. Morning, Mitch. Love watching you while driving the tractor every Sunday morning. Nice, Jakey Poo. But if I take damage, it's your fault. So get ready. I'm back. Sorry, I had something really important to do. Well, that's disappointing. What? What? Nice prediction here, guys. Thanks. Do I look like somebody who's a cheeser? Oh my God, save it! Don't die! No! It pushed me down! I can't believe that! I can't! I cannot believe that just happened. No way. Oh, it was all because the bullet bill was at the top of the screen, man. These bullets. That one has never happened before. That's it. You guys are getting punished. This is your punishment. The absolute best viewing pleasure on the internet. Guys, he's not playing like he's using OBS to stretch the screen. I'm not. This is the normal resolution of my life. I live in wide mode, in case you guys didn't notice. But this is your punishment for treating me so poorly. Editor, put this message next to the video. Hey, guys. This is my very first... The momentum! Really Looks like you're taking things well. Lol. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Looks like I'm taking the... Shut the hell up. I hope you guys are proud of yourselves for single-handedly preventing the gauntlet from getting to a different fucking game. Oh my god, look at all the TTSs coming in. You gotta be- Hey guys, what kind of freak do you think you can fit in your chalk box? What? What in Lost Levels makes it so hard to not get hit? Uh, the randomly spawning Bullet Bill's fish. The Koopa Kill without fire is annoying and random. And the fish in 7-1 are random. And then the Bullet Bills are random in 5-3. That could change anything at any time. Really annoying. The fish in 3-2 and 6-2 also really annoying. These tight little jumps are also annoying. Because I have Fire Flower now, look, I'm in these little tight corridors. Makes these jumps harder, like this one right here. This jump right here is like hard. Yeah, that right there. Just It just makes it really annoying. Don't forget about the little platforms in Six Fortress. Gotta wait for the triple shot. Like, it's just, the whole game's hard, man. It's just hard. The speedruns makes it a little bit easier. They kind of go on a specific frame rule, so they kind of know what enemies are gonna be where, which would be really nice to know. Even if you follow a frame rule, the moment I go off that frame rule, I'm fucking a sitting duck. I'm blind. If I don't crouch jump there, my head will bonk the ceiling and it'll knock me down in the lava. It didn't let me swim again. This game's fucking garbage, man. Why does it do that? I don't know why it steals it. Like, I can swim now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice something there. What the fuck? Mr. Dumpster? Imagine talking over teeth. <laughs> Why did Mario not move forward? Because this game is garbage. You guys have not played Mario 1 in probably years. The momentum in this game is atrocious. Knocker. I'm not removing this from the gauntlet. Last time I tried to remove a game from the gauntlet, you guys lost your mind. I don't know any of the Wendy's. Wee! I'm going crazy! Wee! This- I'm not washed! Well, maybe I'm like clean. Oh god, not this. Come on! I hate this! Look at this shit, man. And then bounce me right into it. This is bullshit, man. Random bloopers. You guys are loving the torture. 